Hi there, and thanks for taking the time to learn about submitting your academic early alerts through Navigate 360, Kane University Student Success Management System. This video tutorial goes through the step-by-step -step process for submitting your academic alerts. Whether you're teaching an eight-week course or a 15-week course, alerts will be submitted through Navigate 360. Each faculty and course instructor will receive an email from Navigate Support at Kane.edu containing an individualized link for submitting their alerts. This link will remain active through the expiration of the alert cycle or until alerts are submitted. A second round of alerts will occur towards the latter part of the term. Please be on the lookout for specific dates. Finally, it's important to be sure that you're referencing the dates that are included within the body of the email that you receive as the deadline related to submission revolves around the withdrawal policy that we have at Kane University. The academic alert submission form contains four columns. The first includes a roster of all students who are assigned to your courses. The second column includes a very simple question, is this student at risk for failing this course? If the answer is yes, go ahead and select yes. This will highlight that field red. If you would like, you can also select no for students who are not at risk for failing the course. However, at the very bottom of your screen, and we'll call to this towards the end of this video, you can actually mark all students not at risk at one time. So for right now, let's go ahead and focus on students who are at risk for failing this course. When you select yes in column two, you will be required to submit an alert for the student. It is recommended that you choose the primary reason the student is at risk for failing your course. There are four options available to you. The first is that the student is missing assignments. The second is that they have multiple absences. The third is that they have low quiz or test scores. And the fourth is that they have stopped attending. Again, in this case, you wanna choose the primary reason that the student is at risk for failing your course. Based on the alert that you've submitted, you will want to make sure you're including detailed notes in the fourth column. These comments will be used by the case owner or the student's advisor who's providing intervention and support to get this student back on track. Please be as specific as possible in your comments and note that students do not see any comments that you've provided in this field. At the bottom of your academic alert form, you will have two options available for you. The first includes, I'm not done, but I want to submit alerts for my marked students. Say you're teaching 120 students and you've gone through and provided feedback for 20 of them. By selecting, I'm not done, but I want to submit alerts for my marked students, the 20 students for whom you've submitted alerts for will be removed from your list and their alerts will be submitted. You can then go back to your individual link to complete additional alerts as needed. The second option available to you includes, I'm done, submit unmarked students as not at risk. I referred to this just a few moments ago. Say you have 100 students in your course section and five of them are at risk. In this case, you can actually, after marking the five students at risk, scroll to the very bottom and select this option, marking the remaining 95 students as not at risk. When you submit an academic alert and indicate that a student is at risk, a case is opened and assigned to the student's advisor as a case owner. That case owner will view your comments and feedback and then provide intervention and discuss with the student how they can get back on track in your course section. You can keep track of these submitted alerts and open cases from Navigate 360's faculty or professor home screen. To access your open alerts or cases, Log in to Navigate 360 and toggle from your staff home screen to your professor home screen. Scrolling to the very bottom, you'll be able to preview any cases that are open based on your submitted alerts. Additionally, when a case is closed, you will receive an email communication indicating that this case has been closed and the comments related to the intervention that was provided. If a student did not take action, you will also see that indicated in this case closed note. This concludes the tutorial on submitting your academic alerts. Again, we want to make sure that this process is easy and efficient for you as a faculty member. If you have questions or feedback, please feel free to email navigatesupport at kane.edu or academicalerts at kane.edu, both of which are monitored heavily related to this process. Thanks so much for watching and thanks in advance for all your efforts in supporting the success of our students.